Hello and welcome to today's video. Now this is the first sort of audio commentary that I've done on any of my work. It's only the second video I've uploaded, so I will. I'm not used to this. It's a bit awkward for me, just sort of sitting here in my room, procrastinating, talking to myself about myself. But we'll see how it goes, and you know, let me know what you think. I will straight out apologise for the lack of quality. I I couldn't be bothered to go and borrow any kind of microphone so I'm just recording straight into audition through my computer microphone yeah that, that's the babbling um introduction I'm, I'm me this is my video welcome Th this is the kind of thing you're gonna get but <laughs> let's let's move on to this piece I actually did this piece weeks and weeks ago but really wanted to record um an audio commentary of it about it and couldn't do that whilst I was at home so I had to wait till I came back to uni and um yeah that's that's now I'm as I said procrastinating so this obviously is a skull I if you follow me on social media you'll see that I I've been sticking mainly to animals lately but I suddenly noticed that there was lots of skull images on Instagram that I was really liking and thought oh you know what why don't I try that? You know, there, I think there was a specific one I came across, which I commented on, like, oh, wow, I don't know what you've done with this, but it looks so interesting and so different. And I thought, wow, it's so cool that you can take something which is so simple and iconic and recognisable and actually make it look different. So that's essentially what I was aiming to do here, was sort of come up with my own style of skull. Um, the frustrating thing was that specific image that I was, like, totally excited by, I'd commented on but forgotten to like on Instagram and couldn't remember who had drawn it, so I had no way of accessing it, um, which was really frustrating at the time because I was like, oh, I know, I know I saw it, I know it exists. But um, as you can see, I've, I copied and pasted a few images from Instagram that I had liked, um, and I'll tag all the artists in this comment, in the description, whatever, I'll tag them all somewhere. And um, just sort of got going. I did a sketch in Photoshop first using my Wacom Intuos art tablet and then copied and pasted that into Illustrator and again using my tablet drew the rest there. Um, we're now coming to the end of the colouring phase. I originally went for the blue because I was like I, want, I don't want it to be white but I want it to be close to white and then I started exploring a bit because I was like you know what nah no, I've been really enjoying the funky ones, let's make it a bit more interesting. And in the end I did four and sort of asked my dad, hey, you know, dad, what, what, what do you think? And I think we both agreed that the two greyer ones were better. Um, and they just kind of worked better. This is also, I think, the first image I've done in a while where the line art is in a colour similar to the art, but not in black. Um, so you can see I chose to go forward with the blue one for like the final piece. Um, I essentially, yeah, that's what I'm doing here now. The key thing to this was that it was a, a pirate skull. And so that's why there's the gold tooth and the eye patch. And my dad suggested that I added it in a diamond eye, which is what I'm currently doing. And it was actually really interesting with the shading, which is sort of the stage we, we're getting to now, sort of getting that diamond eye and that gold tooth to actually look metallic because obviously that's very difficult when you're working solely with ve vector imaging and I in the end I think it turned out really well um, I was very pleased with this when I when I start draw it, when I ever I draw something random like this like first skull I was thinking oh how could I turn this into a series of things I'm like oh well this is a pirate skull I could do a cowboy skull I could do a spaceman skull, you know, you can, by theming it slightly, even though it's just a skull, I'm opening up doors for myself for the future, which is sort of just how I like to work. I don't know if everyone's the same. Um, I guess as someone who's sort of trying to start their career as an artist, in inverted commas, it's just something that you try and think about, you know, oh, how can this, how can I take this further? Um, so in the end, I was really pleased with this tooth. Um, I thought it looked really 3D, really cool. I've never really had any training when it comes to shading. I've just sort of worked it out based on videos I've watched and 
the basic science of light and dark and stuff that I know. Um, the diamond as well, in the end, worked out really well. I was sort of fiddling around for a bit, like, with what, how to make it work. Um, but I think it really did in the end, and I was, I was very pleased with it. Um, the rest of the shading for this piece was very basic, very simple. Um, because it is a simple design, it doesn't need that. I just, you know, I wanted those two items to pop, and they did, and then I just added some, I think, yeah, some shading around the eye to emphasise the depth of it. And also, um, around the patch to show that it, that there is, it's on top of something and not part of it, I guess. I like this, and I'm looking forward to the idea of potentially doing more. I, 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 so, if, if you've enjoyed this audio commentary, please let me know. If you prefer to the one with just music, also please let me know, because obviously I want you guys to enjoy my videos, and I want to continue making them, and hopefully more frequently. As I said, I kind of this was the one that was next in line to be made, but because I wanted to do the audio commentary, so because I wanted to do the commentary, um, I sort of put it on hold for a bit, and now I'm just like... Oh, what was that piece all about again? Oh yeah, that was it. So anyways, I'm, I'm kind of babbling on here because there's one point I want to make right at the end and um, I'm waiting for it to happen. <laughs> but yeah, I'm enjoying this. Oh yeah, I do love using lime green for highlights. I don't know why. It is something that um, I did in a previous piece and it just looked so cool, particularly against purpley colours. Using colours that aren't actually the same as the piece for highlights, I think, just makes it so cool. So anyway, the bit I wanted to say was this this final um, colour that I chose at the end. This is now officially my favourite orange in the Pantone Solid Coated Swatch book. So, thanks again for watching. Apologies for any extra babble that was a bit boring or annoying. And hopefully you will come back whenever I next upload a video. Goodbye.